ಸೌ ಸಂತೋಷಯತ ಸಂತೌ ಶ್ರೀಲೂಪ ಸನಾತನೋ ದಾಕ್ಷಿಣಾತ್ಯನ ಭಟ್ಟೇನ ಪುನರೇತದ್ವಿವಿಚ್ಯತೆ ತಸ್ಯಾಜ್ಯಂ ಗ್ರಂಥನಾಲೇಕ ಕ್ರಾಂತವ್ಯುತ್ಕ್ರಾಂತಖಂಡಿತ ಪರ್ಯಾಲೋಚ್ಯಾಥ ಪರ್ಯಾಯ ಕೃತ್ವಿಖತಿ ಜೀವಕ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಸೊ ಟಿಲ್ ನೋ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಲರ್ನ್ ಮದರ್ ರೋಹಿಣಿ ಯು ಆರ್ ದ ರೆಗ್ಯುಲರ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಟೆಲ್ ಮಿ ಯು ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಠೀಕ್ ಸಾರಿ ಈ ಮಾಲ ಮಾಲ ಇದು ಡೇಂಜರಸ್ ಕಾಲ ಸಾರಿ 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 ಸೊ ಟುಡೆ ವೈ ಲರ್ನ್ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ಟು ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಓಕೆ ಇನ್ ದ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಸ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸೀನ್ ದಟ್ what we learned in the previous classes by using six lingas so upakram upasamhara abhyasa apurvata ardhapatti phalam by using all these lingas we applied these lingas on shrimad bhagavatam and we achieved that so the conclusion of shrimad bhagavatam is what is established the conclusion of bhagavatam bhakti is the abhideya bhakti is abhideya this is established by yeah by so yeah it is it is established as conclusion of shrimad bhagavatam by these six lingas ಉಪಕ್ರಮ ಉಪಸಂಹಾರ ಸೊ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಟ್ರೈಂಗ್ ಟು ಫೈಂಡ್ ದಿ ದ ಕನ್ಕ್ಲೂಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ ಭಾಗವತಂ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಅಪಾನ್ ಅನದರ್ ವೇಸ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಲಿಂಗಾಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ದಿಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಸಿ in another way shila vyasadev when he started to write this shrimad bhagavatam what kind of pratigna he took 
ధర్మ ప్రోజిత కైతవోత్ర పరమో నిర్మత్సరాణాం సతాం వాట్ వ్యాస్ దేవ్ ఈ సెయింగ్ ఇన్ దిస్ శ్రీమద్ భాగవతం ఐ విల్ డిస్కస్ ఐ విల్ డిస్క్రైబ్ ధర్మ వాట్ ఈస్ దట్ ధర్మ దట్ ఈస్ భక్తి సో దట్ మీన్స్ వ్యాసదేవ్ ఈజ్ రైటింగ్ దిస్ బుక్ టు డిస్క్రైబ్ వాట్ భక్తి so from this also we should understand that conclusion of shrimad bhagavatam is bhakti bhakti is a abhidaya and also there are the six sorry there are the 10 topics of dasa lakshanani 10 topics of shrimad bhagavatam are there any mahapurana is having the 10 topics so that is said in the even shrimad bhagavatam also those 10 topics are mentioned in second canto 10th chapter first atra sargo visargasya so there atra sargo visargasya sthanam poshanam utayaha manvantareshanu kataha ah manvantara means there it is said that what is that manvantara means dharma so manvantara dharma what is that dharma so there it is we are seeing sridhar swami is glancing dharma as what as bhakti okay so that means the 10 topics based upon 10 topics also if you see so what is the topic that means dharma refers there what bhakti only that means any purana should have these 10 characteristics and their dharma means what you should understand as bhakti dharma means in the manvantara whatever dharma is manus established the dharma what dharma they establish bhakti this is the point actually that means every purana discuss manvantaras and their their activity manus activities ultimately manus are interested in establishing dharma that is nothing but the bhakti so that means in shrimad bhagavatam also we are seeing the dharma which is followed or established by the manus that is nothing but the bhakti so in this way also we should understand that so this bhakti is only is discussed in the shrimad bhagavatam and we are going to also we discussed the chatushloki bhagavatam especially the fourth shloka chatushloki bhagavatam is the is a seed form of shrimad bhagavatam in the seed form of shrimad bhagavatam that is chatushloki bhagavatam in the final one in final one what you are seeing tad angani so that means gnana vignana rahasya tadangani in four shlokas of chatur shloki four things are discussed gnana vignana <coughs> rahasya tadanga so what is the meaning of so here tadanga tadanga means what here tadanga means sadhana bhakti that means in chatur shloki bhagavatam we are seeing four things prominently discussed first shloka is telling about the gnanam second shloka is telling about the vignanam third shloka is telling about the prema bhakti fourth shloka is telling about the sadhana bhakti that means fourth shloka is telling about the abhideya so what should be practiced that means krishna is instructing to brahma ji hey my dear so you have to inquire that eta vadeva jignasyam tatva jignasuna atmanah anvaya vitireka abhyam yatsyat sarvatra sarvada eta vadeva jignasyam this much only you should inquire what is that so 
that is sadhana bhakti which is anvaya vitreka abhyam yatsya sarvatra sarvada which directly and indirectly so exist everywhere and all the places which is available otherwise directly indirectly exist or otherwise directly indirectly prescribed you can say everywhere and all the places what is that object which is at obtained in every place that is only bhakti what is the object which is obtained all the times all the time what is possible that is bhakti so what is that object which is described which is prescribed in positive way that means if you do this you will get positive results in this way what is described that is bhakti and also what is described if you don't do you will get negative results in this way is described what is that that is also bhakti and also you will be saying in some places sarvatra sarvada so what is obtained everywhere and all the time together also sarvatra sarvada that is bhakti that is also we have seen what is that shloka tasvat sarvatmana rajan harihi sarvatra sarvada srotavya kirtitavyascha hmm smartavyo bhagavan rana so it is said in the in the shloka what is that that is third second canto second chapter 36 shloka there we are seeing everywhere and all the time He is obtainable is what that is hari sarvatra sarvada that means hari kirtanam and also all the instructions of the all the sastras are there to serve the two principles what is that ah uh, smartavyo satatam vishnu vismartavyo na jatu chit so to uh, always remember krishna never forget krishna to serve these two principles only all the instructions are there all the vidhi nishedas in the shastras are there all the prohibitions and all the regulations are there all the re- regulations and prohibitions are there to this also rules and prohibitions are otherwise vidhi nisheda rules and prohibitions are there to serve these two things that means to serve bhakti only all the rules and regulations of the shastra are there so from this also we are understanding so what is that object to serve which object all the rules and regulations are there all vidhi and nishedas are there for anvaya vitreka means vidhi nisheda so for serving the bhakti and bhakti is only everywhere all the time obtainable so that's why in total also we are understanding that bhakti is everywhere all the time obtainable and all the rules and regulations are there to serve the bhakti so that's why sadhana bhakti is the thing what brahma ji has to practice that is the instruction given by the krishna in the fourth shloka of chatur shloki bhagavatam so from this we are understanding ultimately chatur shloki bhagavatam is a seed is a seed form of entire bhagavatam in that four shlokas what we are seeing bhakti only bhakti only as the abhideya so from this we are clearly understanding that bhakti has to be so bhakti is the conclusion of shrimad bhagavatam because in the chatur shloki so four shloka is saying the same thing four shloka is indicating the sadhana bhakti so then entire bija is there in the bija itself sadhana bhakti is there then in the entire bhagavatam only also that sadhana bhakti is only the abhideya in this way we are concluding anyway sarvatra sarvada that discuss very elaborately you all can see that so that is our target that means previously we have seen sadhana bhakti as the abhideya by the individual conversations to one guru and shishya both together and sitting and conversing based upon those conversations we established bhakti as abhideya and after this now six lingas we applied on the bhagavatam try to find out the conclusion in that conclusion also what is revealed bhakti is the abhideya this is only revealed even we tested the chatur shloki bhagavatam 
which is the seed form of the entire Bhagavatam. In that seed form Bhagavatam also we are seeing the Bhakti as the Abhideya. Bhakti should be practiced. Okay? You all have the, you now because these Anuchedas, I am going a bit quickly because I have to finish this 153 in this month ending. So, translating 50 Anuchedas within this time is impossible. And uh, <laughs> I am lifting my hands. So, you can refer Bhanu Mara's translation or otherwise I also shared in that link. So, Babaji's book also. You can keep together and whatever I am saying, if anything is mismatching, you will please let me know. So, we will justify that. Whether I am, sometimes I may go wrong. If I go wrong, then please let me know. Or otherwise, we can decide. Sometimes there in the file also there is a mistake. In the air translations also some mistakes may be possible. So, <clears throat> but at least some help you will get if you see those files. So, now another we have almost all 35 Anuchedas we have now. We should reach 35 Anuchedas. Today we will finish 5 Anuchedas. So, like this, by the first number we should finish 150. So, small Anuchedas only. With speed, I will increase my speed. So, please be attentive and focused in the class. Next, 116th Anuchedas. You all have, everyone, anyone have any difficulty in opening files is okay. If you have problem, then I will send the files again. Otherwise, we, yeah. So who, uh, uh, what is that? Ramcharan Prabhu. Yeah. Tell me Prabhu, what is the problem? Uh, Hare Krishna, who, in, like the PDF, like the Devanagari is basically like, it's uh, like, uh, it's uh, not in a proper format, like, uh, Will it be possible? Is it because of printing or like I don't know why the PDF uh, Devanagari is not good there? In in which book, Prabhu? In ba Babaji's book? Uh, the one PDF that Prabhu you like you posted there. Uh... Okay. Mool, I were asking. Yeah. Devanagari is missing in that file. Whatever I posted in that Devanagari. You want Mola file? Yes, Prabhu, if possible. Okay. Huh, where? Ah. Leela go in, Prabhu. Ah, from picture. Uh, the same, same thing, Prabhuji. When the one which you posted the PDF, it's called uh, Bhakti Sandarbha Corrected. The title is The Devanagari is not clear, Prabhuji. Uh, Where is it? One thing I will do, one second. I have one file. Mola file I have. Let me, I will share. Mm. Huh? One second, Prabhu, just to give me two minutes. I am sending the entire Mola file. Hmm. Uh, Philila, Hello, going bro. What is the point? Prabhuji, this is not Mula file, Prabhuji. Huh? This is translation, Prabhuji. Oh, translation is also yeah, This is translated one. This is not Mula. You want me to send Mula? But in the Mula, Prabhuji, sometimes all the slokas are not mentioned. Here in the translation, you mentioned all the slokas. But I think, Prabhuji, now you can, you can go ahead with the class. Later, you can see, Prabhuji. Okay, okay. Mula, okay. Is it? Is it? 
ఇదే కదా ఇదే నేను పంపుతాను వాట్ ఈస్ అండ్ యా యూ యూ హ్యావ్ వర్డ్ ఫైల్ దట్ హూ సెండ్ దట్ టు యూ ok i will send proper uh, proper file yes. mm yeah what is your లేదు అసలు నా దగ్గర ఏం లేదు అసలు నేనేం నా దగ్గర ఏం పెట్టు శ్యాంబల్లో అడిగిరు తీసుకో శ్యాంబల్లో అడిగి తీసుకో ఈరోజు నాకు ఇప్పుడు అడుగు ఐ సెండ్ ప్రభు ఫైల్ ఇన్ ది group mola file complete mola is there from the starting to ending in diacritics that you can download and complete translation of banuwar azal sir will send so he is getting that and i will send i don't have that yeah ఓకే నో వన్ హండ్రెడ్ సిక్స్టీన్ తనుశ్చేద శ్రీ నారదేన అపి తన్ మహాపురణ పురాణ ఆవిర్భావార్థం తదైవ ఉపదిష్టం వీఆర్ ఆల్సో వీ అప్లైంగ్ వేరియస్ అదర్ మీన్స్ టు ఫైండ్ ది ద కంక్లూజన్ ఆఫ్ ది శ్రీమద్ భాగవతం దట్ ఈస్ భక్తి ఇస్ ద అభిధేయ అభిధేయ మీన్స్ ద మెథడ్ షుడ్ బి ఫాలోడ్ సో దట్ వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు సి ఇన్ అనదర్ వే ఫస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ శ్రీ నారదేన అపి తన్ మహాపురణ పురాణ ఆవిర్భావార్థం తథైవ ఉపదిష్టం ఈవెన్ సో హౌ మహాభారత అప్పియర్డ్ సారీ హౌ భాగవతం అప్పియర్డ్ యు ఆల్ నో హౌ భాగవతం అప్పియర్డ్ ఆఫ్టర్ రైటింగ్ ది మహాభారత్ సో వ్యాస్ దేవ్ ఈజ్ నాట్ సో హ్యాపీ అండ్ that's hari krishna so that's why he was lamenting and he was contemplating many ways so then at that time narada appeared and vasudev so paid obeisances to him and received him and paid obeisances and after that he expressed his despondency that means the reason that he was so not so happy in his heart and he was asking the reason from narada so then narada so started explaining so the reasons what so he was mentioning in that what he was saying so he was preaching actually narada was preaching to vasudev so he already said vasudev said so many sorry narada said so many things he scolded also one way what you did my dear vasudev the way bhagavat bhakti should be glorified you didn't glorify 
that in the uh, in that way in other puranas and also in mahabharat of course you mentioned bhakti but the, the way the importance should be given to bhakti that you didn't why this noise this okay so yatha dharma dayascha arthaha munivarya anukirtitaha na tatha vasudevasya mahaya mahima anuvarnitaha the way oh my dear vasudev you the way described this dharma artha and kama and moksha in that way you didn't describe the bhakti at least equal position also you didn't give to bhakti you made many places bhakti as the servant of karma and gnana and so on so so such a great mistake you did and also more frequently you described dharma artha kama in mahabharat too much you have described of course some places you described bhakti but the place what should be given to bhakti that is not given by you that is a cause for your despondency and after that he was also preaching so many things so he is inspiring narada was inspiring vas to start the to write the bhagavatam so he preached so much in that preaching this following shloka is also coming 1513 what is that this shloka atho mahab atho mahabhag bhavanamo gadru shuchi shravah satya rato druta vrata urukramasya kila bandha muktaye samadhi nanu smarat advicheshtitam when he preached to vasudev narada is saying this point also what he is saying atho mahabhaga o great personality bhavan amogadruk suchisravaha satyaratah drutavratah so he is glorifying many ways amogadruk suchisravaha satyaratah drutavratah so bhavan this 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 you are all suchi shravah satyaratah drutavratah these are the visheshnas to the vasudev you can read out the meanings suchi shravah satyaratah drutavratah what are the different Uh, since you have useful knowledge ah uh, spotless character yes dedication to truth dedication to truth and determined vows yeah determined such is ravah satyarth dhrtavratah but bhavan you are like this what you should do samadhina anusmara you should remember through the samadhi tad vicheshtitam things performed by him by whom उक्रमस्य अखिल बंद मुक्त ये सो यू शुड उक्रम से तद्विचेषित यू शुड रिमेम्बर आर यू शुड राइट अनुस्मरा मीन से यू शुड राइट आर यू शुड कंपाइल ऑल द वेरियस पास टाइम्स ऑफ दि द सुप्रीम पर्सनलिटी ऑफ गॉड हेड for what purpose akila bandha muktaye to relieve everyone from the this bondage of this material world bondage with the material world so to relieve you do this so that means narada when he asked vasudev so to write this book what he is asking he is asking to remember 
all the fast tense of the law and compile the book those fast tense you should write means what this whole book simad bhagavatam is glorifying the krishna and krishna's activities and this book is compilation of the krishna's various activities past times so that's why in this book what you are going to find all the past times and by reading this past times what you are doing you are glorifying glorifying lord that means in this book brahman is not described in this book karma is not described in this book no vrata and no dharma is described but lord's past times are described that means that is bhakti that means narada is asking describing fast times of the lord means remembering fast times of the lord and compiling means you describe bhakti that is the meaning actually you describe bhakti bhakti is only described and by regularly studying the bhagavatam also what will happen bhakti only will happen this book atho ataha नैष्कर्म्यमप्यच्युत भाववर्जित इत्याद्युक्ते कारण अत्र विचेषितानुस्मरणेन अखंडा एव भक्तिर्लक्ष्यते सो हियर एंड आल्सो इन द ट्वेल्थ श्लोक व्हाट ही सेइंग वन फाइव ट्वेल्व naishkarmyam apyachuta bhava varjitam he is saying that means vasudev so, so, uh, narada is saying that hey vasudev without this bhakti even brahma gnanam will not give result you cannot achieve brahman by using brahma gnanam without bhakti without bhakti even nishkama karma yoga cannot purify the heart then what to speak of a regular activity if we don't offer regular karma if you don't offer to the lord that is which is always painful if you don't offer to the lord you will be getting all the time abhadram ishwari shashvat abhadram always you will be getting the inauspiciousness karma generally gives inauspiciousness to you if you don't offer definitely it will give you only inauspiciousness so like this he said in that shloka अच्युत भाव वर्जित इत्यादुक्ते कारण सो दट मीन वै नारद मुनि इज आस्किंग टू डिस्क्रैब दि फास्ट टाइम्स आफ दि लॉर्ड रेम फास्ट टाइम्स आफ दि लॉर्ड अंड रईट दो वै ही सेंग लाइक दि वै नारद इज से लाइक दिस बिकॉज भक्ति इज ओनली दिंग विच ईज गिविंग दि रिजल्ट ऑफ अदर प्रोसेस विच इज द काज for other sadhanas to give their result and bhakti is only the thing which can give everything so various other reasons we already discussed because of this reason actually narada muni is instructing vasudev to remember past times of the lord and right so that means this whole episode if you observe what we are understanding ultimately shrimad bhagavatam's conclusion is bhakti bhakti only it is it indicating what this whole episode the instructions of, given by the narada muni to vasudev indicating what bhakti vicheshtitanu smaranena akhandata eva bhaktir lakshate next antecha even at the ending of this upadesha what is said tvam tvam apyavadra tvam apyadabrasruta vishrutam vibho samapyate yena vidambu bhutsitam prakyahi dukkair muhurartitatmanam sanklesha nirvana mushanti nanyatha 
Tvam Api. So, this is one of the final instruction given by the Narada. In that whole class, he gave a class to, Narada gave a class to Vasudev. In that final thing is what he is saying. So, Tvam, you, oh yeah, Vasa, you, what you should do? So, Yena Vidam Bubutsitam. So, Visrutam Vibohu Samapyate. Prakyahi Dukkai Muradita Atmanam. Sanklesha Nirvanam Ushanti. So, Na Anyadha. So, he is asking finally, these Vidam means Vidusham. These scholars, these uh, Gnanis, here Vidam means you can take as Gnanis. Gnanis already, all the time they have Bubutsitam. They have some desire to know. So, by knowing what? By knowing the by knowing which their desire to know will be fulfilled, that you should describe. By knowing what even Gnani's desire to know will be fulfilled, by knowing what? Ah, glories of the Krishna. So, Adabra Vishrutam Vibhoho. Vishrutam Vibhoho. So describe Lord's glories, Viboho. Yena Vidham Bhusitam Samapyate. By which what will happen? If you describe the glories of the Lord, what is going to happen by that? The desire to know the gnanis or the knowers. So many, many people are desire to know. Their desire to know will be fulfilled. Dukkaihi muhurarditatmanam sanklesha nirvanam ushanti. And also, these leelas, lords, Glories, what it will do? So, Dukkaihi Muhur Arditatmanam Sanklesham, the pain. So, the pain of Dukkaihi Muhur Arditatmanam. So, people they get again and again materially pain. That pain will be will be pacified by these glories by these glories is just a visheshna is added here so there is no other upaya the living entities this material pain will be pacified by what by the glories of the lord by hearing and chanting the glories of the lord so that's why oh my dear vasudev you please describe elaborately so these glories of the Lord. From this also what we are understanding, what is indicated here, that means with what intention Vasudev is going to write his book, he is going, his intention is describing the glories of the Lord. That means he is going to describe the bhakti. So that is only the abhidhya actually. Bhakti is only the Abhidaya. 118. Sri Vyasopi Tan Mahapurana Pracharana Rambhe Bhakti Meva Paramasreya Pratatvena Samadhu Anabhutavaniti Pratamasandar Bedar Shitam. Okay. Vasudev was preached by Narada to describe the glories of the Lord in this book. So, to compile a book to describe the glories of the Lord extensively, where there is no other dharma is given any chance to that. So, then after that, he went to Samadhi. 
in that samadhi also what he has realized in vasudev samadhi what was the what are the realizations what things he saw he saw the krishna parama purusha that means purna purusha that is krishna he saw he saw maya and also he saw maya is bewildering the jivatma and that jivatma is thinking itself as body and this is the anartha this anartha he saw in that samadhi he realized and also that anartha is removed by the bhakti yoga and for that only he is going to compile the shrimad bhagavatam and by studying that shrimad bhagavatam what is going to happen yasyam vai sruyamanayam krishne parama purushe bhakti rutpadyate soka moka bayapaha so and also we are seeing that by hearing this Srimad Bhagavatam, what is going to happen? Soka Moha will be everything is and that Anartha, Prema, he is getting the Bhakti means Prema. So see systematically you see how he is seeing the Anartha of the Jeevatma. Anartha is happening to Jeevatma and that is taken out by the, that Upashamanam, that Anartha will be destroyed by what? By the, by the Bhakti Yoga. And for that purpose what he is doing? He has written Srimad Bhagavatam. to destroy the jivatma sanartha he he saw bhakti yoga as a solution for that purpose only he is writing the shrimad bhagavatam all you know in the first canto seventh chapter shloka number 4 5 6 7 in these four shlokas so that's why Srimad Bhagavatam is there to, to preach bhakti. To, because by hearing that Srimad Bhagavatam also is happening, what bhakti only is happening? Yes, Yamanayam, Bhakti Rutva. If you hear Srimad Bhagavatam, what you will get? You will get Prema actually. You will be getting the, you will be, Anardhas will be removed. So this is the thing. in shrimad bhagavatam glories of the lord is described and hearing shrimad bhagavatam is itself is a is a bhakti actually तथव को लाभ इति प्रश्नान यू बी सी इन लेवन नाइंटीन थर्टी लेवन नाइंटीन थर्टी सो लेवन नाइंटीन थर्टी क्वेश्चन इज आस्क बै दि उद्धव वाट इज द बेनिफिट अल्टिमेट बेनिफिट फॉर दि जीवास then what is the answer is given by the lord what answer he gave for this bhakti labha what labha so you can see 11 19 30 and 40 one second who is this phone he is asking several questions in this not one actually many he asked ka adhyaya ko daridraha va in general he is asking who is uddhava is asking so who is pandita who is murkha who is the what is the path and kolaba in which shloka it is there 29 29 30 third one ha kol ha bha bhago labhascha keshava pumsam kim svid bhalam sriman bhago labhascha keshava ka vidya 
ಹಿರಿಯ ಪರಾಕಾ ಶ್ರೀ ಸೊಸ್ ಆಸ್ಕ್ ಮೆನಿ ಮೆನಿ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಉದ್ದವ ಇನ್ ದಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಅಲ್ಟಿಮೇಟ್ ಬೆನಿಫಿಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಗೆಟ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಥೌಸಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮನಿ ಗೆಟ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಫೋಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಇಂದ್ರ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಟ್ ಅಲ್ಟಿಮೇಟ್ ಪ್ರಾಫಿಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ಜೀವಾತ್ಮ ದೆನ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಹಿ ಗಿವ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಯೋಗ ಮದ್ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಉತ್ತಮ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಲಾಭ ಮೈ ಡಿವೋಷನ್ ಟು ಮೀ ಈಸ್ ದ ಈಸ್ ದ ಅಲ್ಟಿಮೇಟ್ ಪ್ರಾಫಿಟ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸೇಮ್ ಅಲ್ಟಿಮೇಟ್ಲಿ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವೇರಿಯಸ್ ವೇಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಎಸ್ಟಾಬ್ಲಿಶಿಂಗ್ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಆಸ್ ಅಭಿಧೇಯ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಒನ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಅತ ಏವ ಸ್ವಗತ ವಿಚಾರಯತಿ ಸ್ಮ ಸೊ ಎಕೆ ವ್ಯಾಸ್ ದೇವ್ ಗಾಡ್ ಪ್ರೀಚಿಂಗ್ ಓಕೆ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ದಟ್ ಹಿ ವಾಸ್ ಕಂಟೆಂಪ್ಲೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಹಿಮ್ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ವೇರಿಯಸ್ ರೀಸನ್ಸ್ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದಿ ಸಮ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಅನ್ಸ್ಯಾಟಿಸ್ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ರೀಸನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಕಂಟೆಂಪ್ಲೇಷನ್ ವ್ಯಾಸ್ ದೇವ್ ಈಸ್ ಥಿಂಕಿಂಗ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಹಿಮ್ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ what he is thinking himself about himself kim va bhagavata dharma na prayena nirupita priya paramaham sanam te eva hyachuta priya he is saying kim va bhagavata dharma na prayena nirupita what what is the reason for my despondency my unsatisfaction in the heart what can be kim va what is that na prayana nirupita maybe i didn't describe the the past times of the lord bhagavata dharma means bhakti i didn't glorify bhakti nicely is this is the reason priya paramahamsana te eva achita priya that means bhakti is dear most to the lord and also for the devotees maybe i didn't describe those bhakti that bhakti is this the reason so like this he is uh, doing contemplation for his unsatisfaction reasons for his unsatisfaction there also you are understanding this 120 ಅಶೇಷೋಪದೇಷ್ಟುರಿ ತದ್ ಉಪದೇಶೇನ ಭಗವತ ಪರಮ ಉತ್ಕರ್ಷ ಉಚ್ಯತೆ ಅಶೇಷೋಪದೇಷ್ಟುರಿ ತದ್ ಉಪದೇಶೇನ ಭಗವತ ಪರಮ ಉತ್ಕರ್ಷ ಉಚ್ಯತೆ ಜಿತಮಜಗವನ್ ಯಾಗವತ ಧರ್ಮ ಮನವದ್ಯ ಜಿತ ಓ ಅಜಿತ ಅಶೇಷ ಉಪದೇಷ್ಟು ತದ್ ಉಪದೇಶೇನ ಭಗವತ ಉತ್ಕರ್ಷ ಸೊ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಈಸ್ able to preach many many he can preach any many things ashesha upadeshta who is that bhagavan tad upadeshe neva bhagavatah param utkarsha uchyate but lord is preaching to entire humanity what ultimately that is bhakti yoga tad upadeshe neva bhagavatah parama utkarsha uchyate so by preaching bhagavatam by preaching bhakti so lord 
he is ultimately preaching what bhakti actually so that's why it is magnanimous ashesha upadesha karta ashesha upadeshtu api tad upadeshe naiva bhagavatah param utkarsho chite so lord can preach many many things but lord became magnanimous by preaching what by preaching bhakti lord becoming magnanimous or great superior bhagavatah paramah utkarsha uchyate so lord is glorified so much lord is treated as so much great because what because of preaching of what bhakti so it is said here jitam jita tada bhagavan bhagavan yada ah bhagavatam dharmam anavat oh my dear lord you became ajita oh ajita jitam you conquered everything oh ajita that means ajita is a sambodhan here वो अजिता यू कैन सी एनी ट्रांसलेशन एक्चुअली वो अजिता जितम दट मीन्स यू बी यू कांक्वर्ड एवरीथिंग व्हेन यू कांक्वर्ड एवरीथिंग यदा भागवत धर्म अनवद्यम आहा व्हेन यू टोल्ड श्रीमद् भागवतम यदा आह भागवतम धर्म अनवद्यम तदा जितम bhavata that means you became conqueror of everything when you became conqueror of everything when you spoke bhagavatam bhagavat dharma so who is saying this chitragad maharaj na 6164 ha to sankarshan bhagavan to lord sankarshan chitraget maharaj is saying oh my dear lord you became so ajitam that means you conquered everything when when you told shrimad bhagavatam okay so jitam ityatra bhavata iti gneyam jitam bhavata that means so you became कांक्वरर आह इत्यत्र तु भवान सो भवान आह सो इहर आह इज ए थर्ड पर्सन एक्चुअली त्वम यू शुड नॉट से त्वम आह सो त्वम आह इज ए थर्ड पर्सन सो हाउ इट यू शुड केस टेक देर भवान देर इज अ ग्रामेटिकल पॉइंट एनी वे दैट इज लिव इट so from this also we are understanding lord became magnanimous since he pre- when he preached when he taught bhagavatam next 121 aram shan pro the hari krishna pro so here when we say like the lord taught bhagavatam is that chatur shloki bhagavatam we are referring or like uh, or shila vedvyas muni like who is in connection of lord explaining shrimad bhagavatam any anything we can take here because lord is preaching to brahma ji also lord is preaching to various like uddhava also krishna uh, is preaching to arjun not particularly but just in general lord became magnanimous yeah ajita jitam that means he became conqueror of everything just by preaching thank you bro then he he conquered everything by preaching so next tadevam bhakte hev abhideyatvam sthitam next 121st anucheda so this half an hour time is there we will finish this then yes big but let us 
try another 30 anuchedas how many days are there today is 18 12 days but working days are very less maybe another 9 8 days so on every day we should go for four anuchedas we'll go nine days are there na? nine working days are there Okay, Tadevam Bhaktiheva Abhidhyatam Stitam. In this way, finally, through the individual conversations, to, through the seeing, that means by the using lingas and by applying the various lingas, and also uh, by in the respect of Vasudev and so how it appeared. So how Bhagavad appeared, if you see in that angle also, ultimately, we understood that Bhakti is only the Abhideya, ultimately. That means, before appearance of the Bhagavatam, what is the situation actually? By analyzing that situation also, we understood Bhakti is the Abhideya. So this is done enough. No onwards, we don't going to establish anything bhakti as abhidaya we are not going to discuss this this is over this ending actually 120 anushadas finish now what we are going to discuss tatra yad bahutra karmadi mishratvena tad dharma upadishyate tattu tattad marganishtan bhakti sambandena Krutardaitum taneva kansit bhaktiya swadanena suddhameva bhakto pravarta itum cha itigneyam. In this Bhagavatam, if you see in this Bhagavatam, in many places, so bhakti is described along with the as a mix of karma and so. That means karma mishra bhakti, gnana mishra bhakti, karma gnana mishra bhakti, yoga mishra bhakti. Many kinds of the mishra bhaktis are. Bhakti is described, but it is not described purely, but it is described as a mixture of uh, others also. Then why it is done? What we should understand from this? From this, what we should get, what we should learn. That means, in the Bhagavatam, Mishra Bhakti is described. That means, we also should do Mishra Bhakti. Is that is the intention? No. Here, why then that is done? Why actually everyone should come to the pure devotional platform? Suddha Bhakti is only the intention of the, because Dharma Projita Kaita Votra, he said, as they took the Pratigna that in Bhagavatam, I want to discuss only Shuddha Bhakti, not any other things. But still you will be seeing somewhere Karma, Jnana, Yoga, Ityadi, Mishra Bhakti. So from this also what you should understand, is it directly intended to, uh, is, 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 is directing us to follow the Karma, Mishra, Jnana, Mishra Bhakti? No. But, but why it is done, there is a point is there here. Tattad Marga Nishtan. That means, why it is done like that? Why that kind of preaching is done by Vasudev in that Bhagavatam? Because someone is addicted to karma, or someone is addicted to the jnana, someone is addicted to the yoga. They have the full nishta in those. Karma, jnana, yoga and so on. So. And to make them that kind of people who are, are there to make them perfect, to generate some taste for bhakti in them. So, what he did? He preached karma mishra bhakti, jnana mishra bhakti, yoga mishra bhakti. That means, karma mishra bhakti means karma is preached. And also, along with the bhakti, it is preached. So, that's why they will be asking, they will be asked, karmis are asked to do karma along with the bhakti. To, why it is done? To make them successful. To generate some, at least in some people, whoever is studying this, those karmis, 
they will be seeing by following this karma mishra bhakti ultimately they will get the taste taste of the bhakti then automatically they will come to the stage of shuddha bhakti once the taste is they are getting that karma bhakti swada the, the taste for bhakti then they will be yeah what is the difference between karmi and karma mishra bhakta you all know karmi and karma mishra bhakta what is the difference in the karmi's case karma is the pradhana bhakti is gauna and bhakti is used as a servant of karma so that karma can produce but in the karma mishra bhakti bhakti is pradhana is god ha yes radharani mata ji prabhu so, ji what is uh, bhakti mishra karma ha bhakti mishra karma bhakti mishra karma is nothing but the karmi only karmi is what they do bhakti mishra karma karma is pradhana for them bhakti is gauna okay karmi i give the name actually that means he is nothing but the karma is pradhana for him so you see bhakti mishra little bhakti is mixed but karma is the pradhana this is the case only what you are saying okay this is gauna so here what karmi is they are getting the instruction karma here so that's why by seeing the karma mishra bhakti what will happen to karmi is oh they are practicing karma but pradhana mainly they, they are asked to do the mainly bhakti so in the in this bhak, bhak, karma mishra bhakti what they will be doing they will be doing the their regular activities that means regular karma nitya naimitti karma they will be doing regular karma means nitya naimitti karma they will be doing also they will be doing the so to so, sakshat bhakti Sarupasiddha Bhakti or Sakshat Bhakti. They will be doing the Sakshat Bhakti and following the prescribed duties. This is the case of the Karma Mishra Bhakta. In the case of the Karmis, they will be doing the Karma only, mainly. Mainly Karma they are doing. In the process of Karma, some kind of Bhakti is involved and they are doing that. so that's why so by this what is happening by karma mishra bhakti by this by preaching karma mishra bhakti what is happening karmis are attracted to this karma and also they are practicing the sakshat bhakti and from this they are so their their life is baked perfected that means they will taste they will get the taste of the bhakti and then so those will be in future can become the shuddha bhaktas it is a, this is the hope actually with this hope only vasudev preached in some places in shrimad bhagavatam mishra bhakti example i took karma we will be seeing where where mishra bhakti is there some examples will be seeing in the coming sections actually
ராம் சரண் ப்ரோ ஹரி கிருஷ்ணன் ப்ரூ ஸோ வென் வி வென் வி சேஸ் லைக் திஸ் சகாம் கர்ம அண்ட் நிஷ்காம் கர்ம ஸோ தே ஆர் லைக் தோஸ் டூ கேட்டகரி ஆஃப் தோஸ் சேம் திங் ஆர் லைக் தே ஆர் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் லைக் யா நிஷ்காம கர்ம இன் தட் நிஷ்காம கர்ம வாட் இஸ் ஹேப்பனிங் தே ஆர் ஆஃபரிங் தி ரிசல்ட்ஸ் ஆக்சுவலி டு த லார்ட் இந்த நிஷ்காம கர்ம தட் இஸ் எக்ஸ்பெக்டட் எதர் தியாக புத்தி ஆர் அதர்வைஸ் டு சாட்டிஸ்ஃபை தி லார்ட் எனிவே தேவில் பி ஆஸ் டூயிங் தி நிஷ்காம கர்ம மீன்ஸ் so offering doing the karma and offering the results to the lord this is comes under the aropa siddha bhakti is aropa siddha bhakti this is also one type of bhakti nishkama karma all these discussions will be coming in the in the coming chapters actually in previous three sections also we discussed some kinds of the bhakti yes and yeah you if you don't refer refer back if you don't go back and study those anuchedas then every time it will be new thing and confused please you try to go back and revise those things as much as you revise you can get more more taste also more interest to attend the classes otherwise you'll be feeling something is missing missing all the time okay so ultimately vasudev's goal is what in shrimad bhagavatam what he wants to do he wants to prescribe the shuddha bhakti he wants to சுத்த பக்தி இஸ் ஓன்லி த அபிதே தட் இஸ் ஓன்லி த கோல் புனச்ச சர்வத்திர தசியாக அபிதேயம் வக்தும் ததீய மகிமா பூர்வத்திர வியாக்கியா தோபி கிரமேண வியாக்கியா இது ஸோ அல்டிமேட்லி சுத்த பக்தி ஈஸ் த கோல் ஆக்சுவலி தசியாக ஏவ அபிதேயத்துவம் வக்தும் தசியாக ஏவ அபிதேயத்துவம் வக்தும் மீன்ஸ் ஸோ Suddha bhakti is only the thing should be practiced. Abhidhaya means the thing should be practiced. And to say even so many times Vasudev is glorifying in Srimad Bhagavatam Suddha bhakti. Why he is glorifying? To say, to ask people to follow Suddha bhakti. in this shrimad bhagavatam what is described again and again in shrimad bhagavatam the glories of shuddha bhakti are glories of shuddha bhakti are described in shrimad bhagavatam what is the reason because vasudev wants to prescribe shuddha bhakti as abhideya now those glories we are going to see what we are going to see now glories of shuddha bhakti already we have seen so, so many glories in many many conversations but now we are going to see the glories of suddha bhakti in a sequence kramena first and foremost so we will be seeing one by one sarvaireva visheshtah bhaktehi anyattu na kartavyam ity abhiprayana tatra tasya parama dharmatvam sarva kama pradatvam cha so now we are going to discuss what glories of suddha bhakti first and foremost what we are doing sarvai visheshtah bhaktehe eva anyattu na kartavyam visheshtah bhaktaihi anyattu na kartavyam tatra tasya parama dharmatvam sarva kama pradatvam cha vasudev wanted people in this society 
to do what to do shuddha bhakti he wanted everyone to do shuddha bhakti so that's say what he is going to do he is going to establish he is going to say first and foremost what is that point bhakti is is the ultimate dharma he is going to show bhakti as he is going to show bhakti as ultimate dharma and also bhakti is is giver of bhakti is giver of all desires other way bhakti gives, fulfills bhakti fulfills all desires this he is going to say say so the so that everyone will do so the bhakti only because he is going to describe bhakti as ultimate dharma and also that bhakti can fulfill all the desires then what do you need that means he is asking he wants to stop devotees not to do any other thing and to focus them to make them to focus on only in bhakti so that's what he is going to say he is going to say that bhakti is the ultimate dharma and bhakti is is, is going to fulfill all the desires sarva para, parama dharmatvam sarva kama pradatvam these two characteristics we are going to he is he he ex, he he told two characteristics of the bhakti what is that uh, sarva sarva what is that sar uh, sorry parama dharmatvam parama dharmatvam and sarva sarva kama pradatvam these two characteristics so that you should not you don't need to see any other thing no karma misra bhakti no need to do any karma misra bhakti because karma misra bhakti why you do karma why you do to get the some material results now this bhakti is going to give everything then ultimately what by saying these two characteristics so, so as they what he is demanding from us not to do any other other thing extra other things than the bhakti so that means he is asking us to do only suddha bhakti and also he is saying this is a parama dharma simply not one way he is saying only is giver of everything is only not he is saying he is also saying it is parama dharma it is ultimate dharma for you and also it gives everything so that's why so you should not do any other things and you should do only bhakti in this way he is promoting suddha bhakti so where it is showed that bhakti is the parama dharma etavane va lokesmin it is 6322 what is the translation the mind offered to me with pure bhakti huh. its steadiness alone creates the highest benefit for men in this world Three twenty five forty four. Three twenty five forty four. Ah, Kapil Bhagwan teach. Six three twenty two is not there. Etava neva lokesmen pumsam dharma parasmrataha. Bhakti Yogo Bhagavati Tannama Grahana Dibihi is there. So devotion service beginning with the chanting of the holy name of the Lord is the ultimate religious principle for living entity in human society. So I am studying from Bhakti Vedanta translation, Srila Prabhupada's translation. What is saying? Etavane Vilokesvina Pumsam Parahadharma. Parahadharma means ultimate dharma what is that ultimate dharma bhakti yoga bhagavati doing bhakti okay so from this we are understanding that bhakti is the 
He is the ultimate dharma for everyone. And also, Akama Sarva Kama, it is saying that Bhakti can give everything. Okay, done. Sarva Asama Siddhinam Ityadu. And also, we are seeing one more sloka. All the Siddhis, all the kinds of results you can get by practicing Bhakti that you are seeing the 11, 15, 35. Okay. So, so by saying these two properties of the Bhakti, ultimately, Vasudev's intention is he is asking us to do only Bhakti and not do any other things. That means Shuddha Bhakti, he is prescribing for us these two qualities of the Bhakti leading to doing the Shuddha Bhakti. Next, Skandecha Sanatkumar Markande Samvadi. In Skanda Prana also we are skiing. Vishishta Sarva Dharma Nam Dharma Vishnu Vishna Varchanam Nudam Sarva Yegna Tapo Homa Tirdasnana Ischa Tatfalam Tatfalam Koti Gunitam Vishnum Sampuja Chapnuyag Tasma Sarva Praitnena Narayanam Miha Achayet. What he is saying in Skanda Prana? Sanat Kumara Markande. Sanat Kumara is saying to Markande Rishi. What he is saying? Sarva. Main point you should catch. Tatphalam Koti Gunitam Vishnu Sam. Whatever you are going to get by the Yajna, Tapa, Homa, Tirdasana and so and so. And million times multiplied by, million times multiplied to that. He is, he is achieved by worshipping the Vishnu. So that's why everyone should worship the Vishnu. So that means here Sarva Kama Pradatvam is discussed here. Bhakti gives, fulfills all the desires. That's next to Tatraiva Brahmanara Samvade. In that same book, so in the Skanda Purana, the distinction between Brahma and Narada, we are seeing. Aswameda Sahasranam Sahasram Yahkaroti Vai. Natat phalam avapnoti madbhaktai yadavapyate. What he is saying? What is it? This sloka? You are going to get the thousand times multiplied result of Aswameda Sahasranam. If you perform thousand Aswameda gas, whatever result comes. So if you multiply that by the thousand times, that you will get by just by performing the bhakti. Performing thousands of asamedas and result whatever you get and multiplying that by the thousand, that you will get by bhakti. Mm. Yeah. It's asameda sahasranam sahasram. Yeah. Okay, no problem. Uh, that kind of things will be going out. Next, asubhagnatvam. Next feature, what we are going to discuss? Ashubhagnatvam. This is over. Etavane Valokesmin. We are going to describe the various characteristics of the bhakti so that ultimately describing these characteristics also, what is the intention of the Vasudev? To prescribe the Suddha Bhakti. Okay. By seeing these characteristics, you will be attracted to do Suddha Bhakti. So next is Ashubhagnatvam. Uh, Leela Govind Prabhu. Uh, Prabhuji. Prabhuji, I just, I think the point which you mentioned is it's not equated, Prabhuji, in this verse. Even my devotee attains more, it is mentioned, I think. Okay, Prabhu. Natatphalam avapnuti madbhaktehi. Which one you are saying? Asumya Sasranam. Yes, yes, Prabhuji. Asumya Sasranam. Natat phalam avapnot mad bhaktaihi yad avapyate. Because as per the translation provided by this, whatever PDF it shares, yeah, yeah, yeah. the okay. person who performs a million horse sacrifices does not attain the result that my devotee attains. Yes, yes. So, yeah, that is only that thing. Asubhagnatvam. Now, this is going to destroy the all the so inauspiciousness. Asubhagnatvam. It destroys the bhakti, destroys the all the inauspiciousness. What is that reference? Sadri, you know, like in the bhakti samrasindhi, you will be seeing, na? So, what is that? Klesha, Agni, Subhada, and so and so, like that here also you will be seeing. So, here, Klesha, Agni, this is. That means it is a, kills the inauspiciousness. Sadri, you know, hyayam loke pantakshemo kuto bhaya ityado darshitam. 
What is said in the six one seventeen? Sadri chine ayam loko panta. This is the sadri chine ayam loko panta kshema. That means it is very auspicious. And akuto bhayam. That means there is no fear in this. That means fear will be dispelled. So this is the point actually. Is a kshema panta. Kshemaha. So this path is previously also is given. If you search, you can get this sloka. Sadri chinu hayam loko panta loke panta. This sloka you can get in the previous files also. Six one seventeen. Okay, one second. The path followed by the pure devotees who are well behaved and fully endowed with the best qualifications is certainly the most auspicious path in this material world. What is the most auspicious path? Bhakti Yoga is the most auspicious. That is the point. That means Asubhagnatvam. It is auspicious path means what? It destroys all the inauspiciousness. That is the point. Next, Tika. In the Tika you can see Ataha na marg na gnana marge iva. So I want to take another ten minutes extra, please. Please, ten minutes you go with me. Ataha na gnana marga iva asahaita nimittam bhayam napi karma marga vat matsarya dya matsarya dikte bio bhayam iti bhavaha. Akuto bhayam is said. There is no fear in this path. Why there is no fear? Generally, in the case of the Gnana Marga, there is a fear. What is the fear in the Gnana Marga? What kind of fear you will get in the Gnana Marga? In the Gnana Marga, what kind of fear is there? What kind of fear? Gnana Marga, Atahana Gnana Marga, Eva, Asahayata Nimittam. In the Gnana Marga, there is no one is there to help you. You are alone. Yes. By using the knowledge, that means Sankhya knowledge. The Sankhya philosophy is telling about the, the Tattvas. Total 28 Tattvas are there. It is describing about the various Tattvas. By these Tattvas, by knowing these Tattvas, you will be trying to separate. You are trying to Understand Atma is different from the this Prakriti. So by this kind of Sankhya Gnanam, Sankhya knowledge, you try to see yourself as different from the Prakriti. So this is the generally the Gnana Marga process goes like this in this way. Anyway, I'm not explaining everything. In this path, nobody is there to help you. You are alone. So, because of this loneliness, you will be having the fear. Nobody is there to help you. Anytime you may fall down. So, that's why in the Gnana Marga, fear is there because of no help. Fear is caused due to no help. Asahayata. Asahayata. Because of this reason. Because of no help. You will be having fear. In the karma marga, why you are having the fear? Karma marga. If you do karma, what you will get? You will be getting the lot of wealth, artha. Karma means dharma. By following dharma, you will be getting the artha. That means opulence, wealth. By seeing that people will be getting the enviousness, then they want to kill. They want to kill you. They want to loot. They want to steal. They want to disturb. Whatever. This. So that's why there is enviousness of others with cause for fear in the karma marga. But if you come to the bhakti marga, niramat saranam. Nothing. No fear. And that's why we should keep our temples and everything very simple actually. If you that's why Prabhupada doesn't want to have jewelry also, golden jewelry. No, he doesn't want. He said that our temple should be simple and, and also our deity worship is also very simple. No valuable things. No golden things. Nothing. Simple we are offering. We are, and also no need to store money. 
Yeah. You should not keep, you, you celebrate Nayasri temple, Nayasri festivals, finish all the money and next collect money, beg money. That's all. No need to store and so that, otherwise internal fighting will be there. If lot of money is, fund is there, then people try to become a controller on that. Then Mahasarya will come in that. So that's why simple living, high thinking is the principle of the devotional life. And if you don't accept this, then others will become envious of the, your material opulence and so on. So this is the, in, that's why in the Bhakti Marga there is no, and also Lord never give any opulent life for the devotees in general. He make everyone very poor and beggars. <laughs> so that others will not disturb them. They can nicely do their bhakti. Yes, it's good actually. If you are progressing bhakti means you will be losing the, your material friends, your name, fame, material name, fame and also wealth, everything. And you will become a, a simple beggar. <laughs> He likes to make that. That is the mercy of the Lord. But many times people by seeing the mercy, they will become bewildered actually. They think that it is not mercy. No, actually that is mercy. Okay, next. So that kind of bhayam is not there in this. Tathacha skande dwarika mahatme parameshwar vakyam. In the, the Skanda Purana, Dwarika Mahatmi, we are saying, Mad Bhaktim Vaha Tampum Sam Iha Loke Pare Piva Nashubham Vidyate Loke Kulakotim Nayetivam Mad Bhaktim Vaha Tampum Sam Iha Loke Pare Piva Na Ashubham Vidyate Whoever is doing Bhakti for them, there is no inauspiciousness in this material world and also. Here and there, anywhere. Iha pare. Iha loke, para loke. Na ashubham vidyate. There is no inauspiciousness. And also, kula kotim naye divam. That person is, is uplifting the, even the thousands and thousands, millions of people in his dynasty. Sri Vishnu Puran, Vishnu Puran also is saying, Smrute sakala kalyana bhajanam yatra jayate purusham tamajam nityam rajami sharanam harim. Vishnu Brahman is saying, What we are going to, you should always remember what point we are discussing. Ashubhagnatvam. This is the point we are discussing. There is no fear in this path of devotion, and also there is no inauspiciousness in this path of devotion. And Vishnu Purana is saying that Smrute Sakala Kalyana Bhajanam Yatra Jayate Purusham Tam Ajam Nityam Rajami Sharanam Hari. Here in this sloka, what is the main point? Sakala Kalyana Bhajanam Yatra Jayate. So, if you remember Vishnu, Krishna, then what will happen? Sakala Kalyana Bhajanam. All the kinds of auspiciousness is attained there. In remembering the, if you remember Krishna, all the auspiciousness will be happening. Prabhu, I am every day remembering, but in my life, so many problems, so much. And maybe these slokas are Arthavada. These slokas are not Arthavada. In your thought, in your mind, any time, any tinge of the feeling it comes that, oh, these sentences are saying a little bit exaggeration, then it is the offense and it will be a great problem for your life. Your life will be, your devotional life will be hampered actually. No sentence in the Shastra is Arthavada, which describes about the Bhakti. No sentence is Arthavada. So it's there. But you are thinking that in my life it is not happening. But actually it is happening. But we are not seeing that. You don't get eyes to see that. You don't know Lord's plan. Lord is completely is taking care of you. 
he is completely protecting you but you are thinking that materially you are not seeing that that, that mercy of the lord and thinking that he you are you are neglected by the lord and bhakti is not playing any role in my life you are thinking you know you should keep 100% faith in the bhakti and these are all sentences are absolutely true even a little bit also you should not have any doubt if you have doubt then that is offense that we will be going to discuss in the coming section okay you are seeing time next to sarvantaraya nivarakatvam tomorrow we are going to see sarvantaraya nivarakatvam that means sarvantaraya nivarakatvam this we are going to see in tomorrow's class bhakti destroys all the obstacles bhakti is auspicious path asubhagnatvam means bhakti is destroys the inauspiciousness means it brings the auspiciousness and now tomorrow we are going to see bhakti destroys the any kind of obstacle okay that to today tomorrow we'll discuss okay thank you very much any questions we each one one by one by one by one one on quality we keep on discussing now we are now on words we will discuss the glories of the bhakti like this now on words like this many chapters it will go many anuchadas quickly should reach 153 acha excellent i reached i opened and it came 153 this many pages are there okay at least 145 like that will go at least by the month of ending okay thank you very much see any questions anything else uh, exam will write 150 okay sila prabhupad ki